and I am back. Pick up where we left off. I believe I was at question nine. Why, if you are an atheist, do you spend so much time speaking about religion, especially the Christian faith? Excuse me there. Well, I talk about religion because it seems to be what threatens me most. It has the propensity to shove ideas that I don't have in my face, asks, well, doesn't ask, tells me to believe them, and if I don't, I'm either going to burn in hell, or they're going to go ahead and off me right there. Religion seems to be the most corrosive force to personal liberty, something I strongly believe in, as well as freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and just freedom in general. Question number 10. Why does so many... Why does so many of your intro... I think that's supposed to be why do. I'm not sure, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Why do so many of your interests, art, entertainment, center around human suffering and tragedy? Does this reflect an inner turmoil because of the absence of God? Well, first off, tragedy's entertaining. You know, no one gives a fuck about happy people. They're not interesting. You know, it's kind of that Jerry Springer effect. You know, you see somebody who's doing even worse than you, and it makes you feel a little bit better about yourself. You know, hey, my life might be screwed up, but at least my sister ain't cheating on me with my stepdaddy. That little skank's all mine. I don't really know what the hell that was, but... Okay, but... There's... No, or at least, I don't perceive any void inside me. I don't have any kind of inner turmoil due to an absent feeling. You know, I'm a human being. I feel depressed sometimes. I feel happy sometimes. Generally, looking around at the world, the state that it's in, it's somewhat depressing. If you can honestly look at the world today and be happy, well, fuck, I think you're the one that needs to be medicated. Not me. Um, that was ten. Number eleven. If Jesus were physically alive today and preaching the same message as he did before, would you accept his teachings as being valid and viable to our community and your own personal life? Well, really, which part of it are you talking about? The stuff that he actually preached? You know, love thy neighbor, you know, you know, do unto others as you would do unto yourself? Or, you know, the, you know, shit that got added in later about resurrections and stoning fags and people who work on Sunday. You know, some of it I would accept, some of it I wouldn't, you know. Being good to other people is, you know, a general rule to live by. You don't need to be religious to believe that. It's something that's inherent within people. Because when you're good to someone else, they will in return be good to you. I mean, generally. I don't know if I really answered that or not, but... Fuck it. And finally, question number 12. Considering all the opinions you express about the dangers of religion and the world's problems... I guess he saw that other answer looming ahead. But, um... Why don't you offer any solutions to the problem on a specific level? Honestly, I don't know the solutions. I only know what the answer isn't. 
you know, maybe this one will start up a dialogue, but, um, I don't know. Peace out.